Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is all about how to create the most consistently luxurious looking outfits for winter. I always feel like winter poses a particular set of challenges that you just don't get in summer. Obviously you want to look chic, but you also want to be warm and actually have your outfits be functional as well. So in today's video, I'm rounding up all my best tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So my very first tip is to focus in on fabric. And I think this is certainly true all year round, but it's particularly pertinent when it does come to the winter months, because not only can your fabric really dictate how luxurious your outfit looks and feels, but it can also have an impact on how functional it is too. Generally speaking, the higher quality the fabric, the warmer it will be, which if you live in a colder climate is very, very important. As a general rule, natural fabrics tend to be best. So here we're talking about cashmere and wools, cottons and silks. Blended fabrics can be great as well, especially if you're on a budget. And even if you're just looking for wearability, sometimes blended combinations can be a little bit more robust. But as a general rule, it is better to go for a high percentage of natural fabric where you can. Now, of course, when it comes to the colder months, everyone always thinks of cashmere, and for good reason, they are a wonderfully luxurious fabric, and if you care for them in the right way, they can last you literally decades. It is definitely true, though, that not all cashmere is created equal, and the greater cashmere that you get can make a huge difference in terms of how long it's going to last in your wardrobe without looking worn and tired. So there are three main things that I look out for when it comes to my cashmere, and it's actually a little bit of a misconception that you're always gonna wanna go for the most heavyweight item. Really wonderful quality cashmere actually isn't particularly heavyweight but at the same time it's not whisper thin either so my test is always to put my hand under my sweater and see if I can actually see a lot of my hand if I can that means it's too thin and it's more likely to see wear and tear easier whereas if you can't see anything that's generally a good indicator if you are looking at the label you're going to want to go for as high a percentage as possible 100% is obviously the gold standard but you can definitely go for less if you were looking at a blend another thing to look out for is just how finely knit your cashmere is so you can actually tell this even by running your hand over it because the more finely knit it is, the smoother and more luxurious it will be to touch. So it's much nicer to wear, but it also serves a functional purpose too. The more finely knit it is, the warmer it is because it doesn't let as much heat escape. And the very last thing I would definitely recommend doing is to look at the description section of any cashmere piece that you're considering because very good quality cashmere will actually tell you the origins and it will actually specify the diameter of the fibers. I know that sounds very technical, but the only thing you need to remember here is that you're looking between 14 and 16 microns, which refers to the diameter of the cashmere fibers. Between 14 and 16 are the gold standard. It means you're getting a very, very good quality cashmere. If they don't say anything about the cashmere fibers or the cashmere origin, is generally not a good sign. It means that they either don't take their cashmere seriously or otherwise it means that the quality simply isn't very good. This cashmere sweater is one of my absolute favorites at the moment. It is just the perfect classic shape, 14.5 microns. So you're getting a very lovely cashmere quality and the price is very reasonable as well. This one is from Lily Silk who are nice enough to partner with me on this video. I know so many of you all know Lily Silk because they're silk items. They actually really specialize in cashmere as well. They give you all the details of the cashmere too. They are not hiding anything. It's very very, very high quality and they really, really do live up to the hype. So I do have a few items here from them in today's video, so I will make sure to link everything if you are interested in checking anything out. They were also nice enough to give me a discount code as well, so you can take 20% off your entire order and that's with no minimum spend. And it does work off their cashmere as well, which again is just the most wonderful quality, really, really soft and makes the perfect gift, whether you're treating yourself or anyone else. It does work off everything else as well and if you spent over $480 or pounds, and you can get 25% off as well. So I'll leave all the details of that code down below if you did want to check anything out. My second tip is to play around with texture. I feel like the colder months offer so much more opportunity to really play around and experiment with texture versus the warmer months. You know, the colder months you have beautiful suede and velvets, tweeds and boucles, silks, you know, there are just so many different options and layering different textures together is really what creates that very luxurious feel and look. Now, the easiest way to do this, I would say is always to go for a textured accessory. So whether that is a tweed bag or a suede pair of shoes or a suede boot, maybe some velvet gloves, you know, there are just so many different options through accessories. But if you want to experiment a little bit more, then I would always say that to create the most ultimately luxurious looking outfit, then you're gonna want to incorporate texture into your actual clothes. Now, there are so many different ways of achieving this, but it can even be as simple as having a slightly textured cashmere sweater. So this is 100% cashmere. It's another one of my favorites from Lily's 
silk. This one is a little bit more of a relaxed style, so it has a drop shoulder. So it has that really kind of elegant, easygoing style. But this one has a little bit more texture to it, which just makes it look and feel so festive and so lovely for this time of year. I've actually had a version of this sweater in my wardrobe for probably about a decade now. And it's something that I wear every single year because of how timeless it is. You know, I find it so lovely to team with a gorgeous skirt. I often will wear something like this for Christmas day. But at the same time, it's not so festive that you can only wear it for the Christmas period. It works all winter long. It's obviously a lovely neutral, but that added texture really does a lot to add a lot of interest to your outfit and just make it feel a little bit more winter appropriate while still feeling very, very luxurious. Cable knits are another favorite styling trick of mine when it comes to winter because even though it can be any fabric that you want, these are also cashmere, but you can definitely get cable knits in wool as well. The actual pattern is what adds the texture and it just adds a little bit of interest to your outfit that makes it feel a bit more layered and a bit more interesting. So here I have a sleeveless sweater and I absolutely love sleeveless sweaters. I think they are so underrated, especially if you have a slimmer jacket, blazer or coat and you don't want the added bulk. These are absolutely perfect because you get all the warmth in the body, but you don't have any bulk in the sleeves. So great, so unbelievably useful. I love the fact that you have that cable knit design just to make it feel even more textured and rich. And then here I have another one of my favorites. So this is a cable knit cardigan. Again, 100% cashmere, so it's very cozy. But at the same time, this is a little bit more of a lightweight one. So it doesn't feel overly heavy or stuffy. Perfect for layering, but also perfect if you don't live in a particularly cold climate, but you still want to incorporate some more textural elements into your outfit. I think something like this works great with a simple pair of jeans. It still feels very topical. It feels kind of festive. But at the same time, you're not absolutely boiling. And things like this are just so perfect. It's such an easy way of adding texture texture without going completely crazy and they're just so wearable and incredibly useful in your wardrobe. My next tip is to not be afraid of winter whites and I know so many people approach the color white just with so much fear because of how difficult it is to maintain but as someone who absolutely loves white and also has a toddler who always seems to have sticky fingers I just really invested in a few good laundry products and it really does help and I personally love white. I just don't think that there's any more luxurious color. And it's just such an easy hack to incorporate one or two white shades into your outfit. And it instantly gives any look a boost and makes your whole outfit feel so much more luxurious. So I'm a huge fan, whether that's clothing or accessories, white is just such an easy shortcut and I absolutely love incorporating it into my outfits. As a little side note, if you did want a laundry recommendation, then I would highly recommend Miss Mal's Messy Eater Stain Treater. This is so fantastic. It's not as toxic as other options, so it's designed for children's clothing. Gets out all number of stains and works a treat on white items as well. So one of my absolute favorite pieces, especially around this time of year, is a beautiful silk skirt, especially one that has a bit more length to it. I think there is nothing as dramatic and glamorous as a silk white skirt. This one is from Lily Silk. You really do know their silks but it's just so lovely. It feels absolutely amazing. And my favorite way to wear this isn't actually full on dressed up with a really dressy top. I actually like to dress mine down either with a t-shirt or otherwise a simple crew neck, just to make it feel a little bit more accessible and wearable. And just to have that kind of easy elegance that comes with teaming a fairly casual normal item with something that's as glamorous as this. And I just love the effect. And I think something like this, it just works for so many different occasions, especially if you do want to make a statement, but you still want it to be wearable. I just think it is so beautiful this one is stunning quality like it is so gorgeous and there is just nothing more elegant and timeless than a beautiful maxi skirt especially in silk and then my love for white extends to even coats. Yes, I'm not afraid even of a white coat. This is one of my S Max Mara coats. I've had this for, I think, two years now. And I just absolutely love it so much. This one is a little bit more of an off-white, so it's not a stark white, which makes it a bit more wearable in terms of an outerwear form. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's such a lovely way to add a pop of neutral color, if that makes any sense to your outfit. It really does create a statement because of its pale color and it just feels instantly incredibly luxurious whenever I team it with any outfit. If you're looking for more of an everyday piece, then I would highly recommend investing in a good white blazer. I actually have white blazers suitable for every single season. So I have more lightweight ones for summer and I have slightly more substantial ones for winter like this one. And I just love them. And I have them for all seasons because I wear mine so much. I think they are so timeless. They're so great for teaming with a pair of jeans. But you can also team these with trousers for a really elegant evening look or even for the office as well. They are so versatile, so easy to style as well because obviously they go with everything. And they're just one of those items that I rely on time and time again just to create really easy outfits that don't require too much thought but still look really wonderfully chic. 
And then I have the good old feral sweater. I'm a huge fan of a good feral sweater. I think there is nothing more cozy and wonderful than a feral print at this time of year. And this one is just the quintessential one. It is a lovely chunky knit, has that beautiful cable knit pattern right there on the top. And the feral is a black and a gray print on this beautiful off-white color. It is so nice, it's incredibly soft, very, very cozy. And I do think things like this are just so lovely at creating a pop of festive white in your outfit, super, super wearable, and also so classic that you'll be able to bring it out year after year. My next tip is to really pay attention to styling and take the time to learn a few go-to styling tricks that work for you and how you dress, because it really will pay dividends just in terms of how useful it will be and also how quickly it will be to get dressed. One of my absolute favorite styling tricks, which is just so simple and easy to do is to add a belt and you know you don't have to go crazy and spend a ton on one you can if you want to I have a few luxury ones which I do love I have my Louis Vuitton one here but you also don't need to so my one right here is from Reese it costs 60 pounds and it is so great and it's been so useful at simply adding a little bit of polish to my outfits and instantly making them look a little bit more luxurious I would always say though that even if you like pops of color in your actual outfits, I would always go neutral when it comes to belts because they're just gonna be that little bit more versatile. So here I'm talking a good tan, maybe a black belt, even a white belt. Neutral colors will really just go with everything and add that little bit of polish to any outfit that you have on. My next favorite styling trick is to simply roll up your sleeves. And if you've watched any of my fashion videos, you will usually see I pretty much always do this. And that's whether it's a sweater or a blazer, sometimes even a coat, I will always roll up my sleeve and it's one of my absolute favorite styling tricks to do because of how easy it is and it can make a huge impact in how your outfit comes across. And the reason why this works so well is again coming back to that concept of creating a visual break. So very similar to the belt, it's about adding a little bit of interest and the visual breaks within your outfit where it actually draws the eye in. So you're just showing a little bit of skin, you're just a little bit of wrist so nothing too crazy, but it actually makes the whole outfit feel so much more flattery because of that visual break that you're creating. And my other favorite styling trick, particularly when it comes to the winter months, is mastering a coat tie that you actually like and you find easy to do. So I'll show you how I like to do mine, but it's really quite simple once you get the hang of it and it can make a huge, huge difference in terms of just how elegant your outfit appears. And this is true even if you have a very cheap coat. So even if you have a super expensive looking wrap coat, if you tie your coat tie in a really sloppy way, it's just gonna ruin the whole appearance. Whereas even if you have quite a cheap coat, if you tie your coat tie in an elegant way, it can really make a huge difference, make everything feel and look a lot more pulled together. And is really just such an easy hack for improving your look, which is also totally free and so simple to do. My next tip is all about remembering that proportions are key. And this is the number one rule in terms of just mastering your basics about how to get dressed. And it can apply to literally every outfit in every single season. So the idea here is to create a look that is visually harmonious. And the entire concept behind this is that if you have a heavier top half, you're going to want to balance it on the other half. So if you have slimmer bottoms, you can go ahead and wear a wider or a heavier top. Similarly, if you have wider leg bottoms, you're going to want to go for something a little bit more fitted on the top just to create that visual balance. It's a very simple concept to implement that can actually make a huge difference just in terms of how put together your look is. If you team something oversized with another thing oversized, it's going to look much more sloppy, it's gonna be harder to wear, and generally it's just not going to be as flattering as if you keep proportions in mind. And then last but not least, my final tip is, don't think that tips about luxurious dressing and styling tricks can only apply to your more formal looking outfits. Because actually if there's one thing that the last year has taught me, it's that you don't want to save feeling and looking your best for only the days where you get dressed up. I think it's so important to take pride in your appearance every single day. And that's true even if you're wearing more casual outfits. So here I have here one of my absolute favorite finds recently. It is the most luxurious pair of lounge pants you will ever encounter. So these are so 70% wool, 30% cashmere, which is actually a really nice blend because they are very soft, but they're also a little bit more hard wearing too. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. And old me definitely wouldn't have gone for something like this because I would always want to save my nice fabrics for going out clothes. But actually, I'm so often in more casual clothes now, I actually want the pieces that I live in to be very luxurious as well. And something like this is perfect. They are so easy to style, incredibly comfortable as you might suspect, but also incredibly elegant for a more casual piece. And I just love these so much. These ones are from Lily Silks. They are wonderful quality as well, but they're just such a joy to wear. And it's definitely been 
been a lesson to myself this year. Take pride in your appearance even on your off days because actually it makes such a difference just in terms of how you approach everyday tasks and how good you feel about yourself as well. So that wraps up this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will make sure to link up everything I featured in the description section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.